If we look at the oil price, we it is not on the first stage. It is not important um, the, the decline of the price. The, the problem is uh, how long it lasts. So if we have um, because if, if it lasts, I think more than two or three quarters, then this effect will have uh, an influence, an impact on the real economy. And um, I think following the latest the, the latest uh, research publication and also looking at at the numbers, the oil price uh, uh, fall is not transmitted directly now into the real economy. So we expect, I think, in future that um, inflation will remain stable. But um, I think in the case of Norway, um, the Norwegian fund can also invest into the economy to push to push up production. So, um, this on the one hand, <coughs> regarding the oil price, but it's uh, quite a it's quite a cheap producer of oil away. So, I mean, it's producing oil at $20, $25 a barrel, so it's still in surplus territory. And the other thing, of course, is so much of its economy is linked to oil that it, it's almost a dollar-based economy. So, in terms of what happens yeah. there, it's, it's quite different. We are, we are a value-add manager, so our perspective may well be different from, uh, from those who invest in, in more into the, uh, the core segment. But we actually see opportunity in the fact that uh, sort of the, the, the oil price came down that mean we see risk premium increasing for what we do. So whereas 12 months ago, we, we said we Norway will not be in a target market for us. Whereas now I think we see, uh, we see opportunities open up. And I think uh, for us, Norway is, uh, is a very inter interesting market to, uh, to continue to invest in. So from that point of view, you, you've kind of changed. You're, you're, so your view now on Finland and on Norway are that those two areas specifically have more opportunity for higher returns yeah i mean norway has certainly come up from uh, i mean i mean way up there on the uh, on the scale for us well to touch on the to touch on the, uh, the norway um, topic i mean we're already seeing an impact on that i mean um uh, there's a lot of uh, international investors that are um, that carry off the back of new wells being opened etc um, off, off the coast, and a lot of those have been, have been shelved um, due to the oil price. And I'm lucky enough to have a maybe it's lucky, maybe it's not a wife who works at uh, Citibank who goes up to Norway to, to help a lot of these foreigners, um, foreign companies with their um, their interests um, in the oil industry. And there's been a big slowdown. That's that's for sure. Immediately, how that um, translates into the real estate the uh, real estate world is yet to be seen. Um, Norway, like Sweden has had uh, far more, and as opposed to, to Finland, has had far more um, local investment than, uh, than foreign investment. So I would agree with what Anders is saying. Any uh, uh, opportunity uh, such as this, or anything, any, uh, any blip uh, that comes about, whether it's oil price, currencies, um, or uh, the Russians next door to Finland, anything like this creates an opportunity. And I was talking to some, uh, some gentleman here in a, in a room this morning over breakfast who are looking to um, achieve 17% returns, you're not going to get that on uh, core investments in Stockholm, uh, Oslo, or, uh, or Helsinki, or Copenhagen for that matter. So these types of opportunities in the interest of, uh, of Genesta, etc., in, um, in these markets makes a lot of sense to me.